Jonathan Bay Area Throwbacks, and I'm back with another video. This one's a little different because um, it is a jersey, but it's not one that I'm going to keep. It's a jersey that I bought um, kind of by mistake. Um, I'm returning it, but since I have the jersey, I said, why not do a review on it? And um, the jersey is none other than this 1990 batting practice Mark McGuire jersey. Um, so couple things uh, uh, when I ordered this at a 15% off coupon so I wanted to buy um, well when I was on the side and I was looking at A's jerseys I saw that it said 1990 Mark McGuire pullover jersey um, <clears throat> but sometimes they say pullover sometimes they say batting practice um, to me it's just batting practice anyway um, so but it was a picture of the 1998 Ricky Henderson batting practice jersey which is a green jersey with the elephant patch on the side, circle elephant patch and number 24. So I kind of was, didn't know, I guess I should have reached out to them, but I just didn't even want to do it. I heard they take forever to respond. So um, I kind of just didn't really want to even deal with it. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the jersey and uh, hopefully it's the one in the picture and not the description. And if it's the one in the picture, I'll keep it. If it's the one in the description, if I don't like it, I'll return it. If I like it, I'll keep it. But Anyways, it ended up being the one in the description, not in the picture. So once again, Mitchell Web, Mitchell and that's website is just flawed like crazy. Been for a long time. The website's really bad. Anyways, so this came. Um, not a big fan of, you know, just kind of this. Not really a fan of the style in general. But I um, was thinking of keeping it, but I just kind of just really didn't like it. Um, certain things that they did. Um, when I originally got it and I looked at a picture of a game used from this year, it was, to me, I thought it was way off this jersey that they had just screwed it up. It was horrible. But then someone in the group, Kings of Throwback, showed me a another picture of a game used jersey with the description. Um, I guess this period of time, they weren't really that consistent all the time with their batting practice spring training jerseys. It wasn't that big of a deal to the leagues, to the major leagues back then, I guess, with the team. So it's kind of inconsistent. So I found another game used that was closer to what this one was. So I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. But to me, just the A's here seems a lot smaller than um, when you see any of the game used ones from that year, from any of those years where they wore this style. So... To me, it's just too small. If this A's right here logo was bigger, like was actually bigger, like to me what it looks like it should be, I would probably just keep it, you know, it didn't cost that much. But it's just small and it looks awkward to me, so I'm just kind of not sticking with it. I'm kind of good. The American patch looks a little slightly small too, a little bit, but not too bad. Um, it is what it is. But it's mainly this. If this looked more um, correct to the pictures I've seen of the game used ones, I will keep it, but since it's not, you know. Anyways, I'll get into the jersey in a minute, but it is a, a Mark McGuire real quick. Played parts of 12 seasons with the Oakland A's to start his career, then last few years with the Cardinals. I feel like a lot of people know him as a Cardinal because, of course, his first full season with the Cardinals, he had his 70 home runs, which at the time was a record. The big home run race with him and Sosa, you know, everyone says it's safe baseball at the time. So, you know, but at the end of the day, he did spend most of his career as an Oakland A and – you know, played in a few, uh, three World Series, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, 98 to 1990, 1988 to 1990 with the A's, so he had a lot of, you know, good times with the A's, uh, plus he got that, my favorite number 25 right there, but anyways, I'm talking too much, so let's just get into the jersey. So, you got your Cooperstown Collection authentic jock tag here mention as jock tag at the bottom left part of the jersey if you're wearing it your bottom left part section of the jersey with the batting practice they don't have the year and name tags or patches on the inside actually on the batting practice jersey so you got their 1990 mark mcguire you see that on this side yeah you can see it there so there's that um, you come up, you see the small, seems like extra small A's logo, which is double stitched. Like I said, all the other jerseys I've seen um, that I have of the A's with this logo on them, it's bigger. And the ones I've seen, like I said, of game used jerseys of this are actually um, bigger. 
the ones of the gaming jersey in this style, so it kind of just throws me off. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, you come up here, you got your Mitchell and Ness tag. It's 48XL, made in Vietnam. Got uh, these tags here. So. Uh, you know what? Let me compare real quick. Let me bring my other Aces Mitchell and Ness jerseys and kind of just compare the. So here is the McGuire jersey, and then I have another Mitchell Ness Reggie Jackson. Um, I don't know if you can see, kind of, it's a lot. That A's is a lot bigger. And I got a Ricky Henderson BP jersey for Mitchell and Ness. This A is a lot bigger. Now, I'm not saying that they need to be these sizes just because these ones are bigger. Because at the end of the day, it's supposed to be based off that year's. The jerseys, you know, from the actual time. And if the 1990, you know, if I looked at the jerseys and they looked, you know, the game used ones and they looked tiny, I'd be fine with it. But like I said, I've seen the pictures. To me, they do not look like they're this small. So here you have the bottom of the sleeve. It's that green, yellow, and green. You got the flag here that they had for the uh, Gulf War at the time. If you look at the World Series jerseys from that year, the, um, the game jerseys that they wore in the world 1990 world series which was the a's versus the reds they would have um on their jerseys that they actually wore in the game they had an american flag patch on their upper right chest right here above the um you know the writing on their jersey so on the bp they threw it here now um i saw a game jersey where this was like right on this part connected whereas i've seen but then i saw like i said the picture that the kings of throwback members showed me there's also, there's a gap. So, I've seen jerseys both ways, game use, where the flag is, is right up here, right on the bottom of the sleeve where the green is, and other parts where it's a gap. So, you know, it's kind of, I guess they just they just weren't consistent with the jerseys back then, at least with the batting practice ones. So, that's that. So, you see the pass there. All right, let's go to the back. Not too much, really. It's really just a double stitch 25. That's that really. I mean, it's 25 on the back. Nothing too much going on. I'm gonna throw the jersey. Oh, actually, no, I'll measure it first and then I'll throw it on. So, oh, and by the way, this is a size 48. Um, uh, the batting practice jerseys are a little bit smaller usually than their their game Mitchell Ness jerseys. So, therefore, oh my God, real quick, see there's a little curve right there. Anyway. So I'm gonna measure it. This is a 48 in a batting practice. So only take this into consideration for our batting practice. Much chest on from here to here is about 25 and a half inches. Now let's uh, check from the top to the bottom. Back here from the top to the bottom right here, it's 30 and a half inches. So that is the size on a 48 batting practice. So this, I would let you know for me, whatever size you get in a, a game, Jersey for Mitchell Ness, the batting practice, you might want to go a size up, especially if the game jersey is a little tighter on you. So now I'll throw the this is the jersey on me. Pretty much fits perfect um, for me. So like I said, though, this, to, this A symbol here just looks tiny. It just doesn't, to me, it doesn't look like um, the way that it looks in the pictures when I see the game jersey. So I just kind of, you know, Send it back. Um, by the way, I did put in my request for a return on May 10th. Today's May 17th, and I just got the reply today that in a couple of days I'll get a shipping label from the post office uh, through an email or something to send it back. So, uh, Mitchell S doesn't do um, exchanges, Strict, strictly just a return. Just find a means to get my money back. Um, I gotta inquire, see if I can get my 15% coupon back though. Hopefully I can. But um, anyways, that's the 1990 Mark McGuire batting practice jersey. Um, hopefully you like the video. If you don't, give it that thumbs down. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you're not or if you are subscribed, thanks for being there again. I'll see you all next time. Everyone have a good day.